morning guys. Not sure what the weigh-in is going to be, but I have a feeling it's going to be really light. So that's the weight. Rather be lighter and in better shape than heavier and softer, but that's what we got going on right now. Happy I'm able to keep my appetite under control, but it's gonna be a good day. We are heading up north. We're gonna meet up with some people. You guys are coming. Catch you guys heading up. Peace. Yeah, so basically, he's like, yeah, I can give you guys a thousand minimal, and I'll give you guys a go at, you know, with us, and then down the road, you'll just, you'll just do bigger minimums. Bro, Casey's amazing, and we're like, let's do it. And uh, here, let me shoot us. As you guys know, I am not one to pimp any supplements, but I show you guys what I buy and what I take, if I buy and if I take it and like it. And it just so happens that one of my best friends, Chris, and his company, Rari Nutrition, just put out a pre-workout, so he gave it to me to try, and I probably would have said no if I didn't like what I saw. Citrulline malate, beta alanine, agmatine sulfate, tyrosine, caffeine, black pepper extract, vitamins B6, B12, niacin, and a couple other things. So it's pretty much just like Outlift, which I buy and take, and I've showed you guys several times. So I'll get more into this later, but that's what I'm showing you guys here. He happens to live in Fort Lauderdale, right where the collab happened. So it's been a while. It was good to see him, and you guys will probably see more of this soon. But uh, yeah, damn good. Let's get to the video. I like the blend a lot because it's just set up perfectly, I think. Oh, dude. It, I mean, everything there is scientifically yeah. dosed. There's nothing like... And it's we have it set up perfectly to where if you take 107... If you take one scoop, it's only three. <laughs> Alright, guys. Going in a cup and a half of rice, some egg whites and a yolk, some butter cook, that I cooked it in, and... Fueling up for the epic collab that's about to go down. We'll catch you guys at the gym, I think, soon. Peace. Just like these little parts right here, like right here, I collagrate everything. I uh, oh, the drone. takes me like <laughs> so intense. But I collagrate everything right here, and I use uh. It's literally rocket science to me. Yeah, I don't understand it. <laughs> what do you use? I use Final Cut. We just pulled up to Athletic Factor. We got the car full. Got Nate Figs and the driver right over here, as you guys probably have seen. And we got someone all the way over from the yeah. West Coast. What up? Say what up. This is Nick. Originally from the East Coast. Oh yeah, that's but true. From the West now. From the West now, living in LA. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Well, they're gonna both be in the description. We're about to get a lift in and definitely get some grub after. But we're gonna hop in the gym now because they close soon, and we will catch you guys in there. Let's do this. Yes. Yeah. So we we uh, we did two sessions, but Steve's just so. You're good. Let's see it, brother. All right, guys and girls, thank you for coming by the video. This is just a little bit of workout footage from our sort of push in arms day. Um, I'm only about two and a half weeks post-surgery, so unfortunately, not much lifting I could do. Couldn't go very heavy, and that's pretty much the story. So. Um, I didn't really work out exactly uh, following along their plan. I had to kind of do my own thing, which sucks because when uh, you meet up with other lifters, it's really fun to just get at it together, but I'm very limited, so uh, I'm just happy I can actually make it to the gym. Nick ended up working up to 205 for a set of six, and uh, I think Nathan did 205 for a set around there as well. I was able to push 185 for about four reps. Again, I can't use any leg drive. I can't flex my core at all, really. So it's been rough, but I'm trying to push pain-free, literally push and bench pain-free, and using leg drive in my core is not an option. So I'll let you guys watch a little bit of the clips. Didn't get too much just because I have to be very careful in the gym. And unfortunately, I couldn't do too much filming or crazy lifting. I was just kind of trying to stay focused and make sure I didn't get injured or make my healing process that much longer. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for tuning in. Hold it, hold it. God damn.
Your tripod? Yeah. Those suck, but they fuck up in my car. Yeah, I snapped mine. <laughs> I, snapped, I snapped two of them already. They're with me. It's my last one. So. It's a good burn though, yeah? Yeah, dude. When you set that shit back here, it's like automatic fire. All right, guys, we just wrapped up the gym. Feeling good. We're on our way to Santos, where I've eaten with Nate before. Actually, I collabed with Josie Mai and Nate there a little while back, but feeling good. A little bit of pain here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary, so we're crossing our fingers and hopefully still gonna recover well, but we'll give you guys an out angle arm shot. Saluted. But to start, we got some fruits, some veg, and grilled swordfish. Can't cheat, guys. Explain what you're doing right now. I already, I already explained myself. I'm trying to keep it light, but. All right, first off, if I go to a place like this, I like to start out getting my micros, get some zucchini, get some onions, broccoli, pineapple, beets, and some top sirloin. Dude, I'm Myron. Crazy, it's going down. What do beets, are beets sweet at all or are they like kind of bitter? Yeah. Yeah. And they, uh, they're good for it. Tastes like a fruit and vegetable combo. Yeah. Good. Thank you. All right guys, Damn, that was remember this Big Nate had to outdo us. Had to. <laughs> this is not outdoing at all. All right guys, I would film everything in here as you guys are used to, but kind of like a hundred people in here and we have no room so I'm gonna eat this poverty plate if I get anything good I'll show you it's getting sushi now dude that, that breakfast little bar right there I've never seen that that's the first one I've seen it here it's a 10 out of 10 what do you think sushi get both second plate <laughs> Nate is that sesame chicken uh, something like pineapple that. chicken even better all right, guys, you want to see the second plate? Trust me, you do. Steak, eggs, corn. I think I, I, think I made it here. Yours is looking fire. It's going down. The online drama is real. What's going on now? You guys should try this shit. Okay. Dude. Bro, you gotta aware of yourself. There's flavor bombs everywhere. Got something like my body never again. It was last call for the kitchen and I made sure to get everything I needed, so that's what the table's looking like. Keeping the light. Guys, it's pretty much a wrap. How you feeling food coma wise? Cool. I think you got there. That was so good though. Pleasure meeting you, brah. Oh yeah. We'll have to chill again one day. Sure. Broski, I'm I'll driving. fist you up. <laughs> I'm driving. But we're out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Soon.
Dude. I'm bringing her around. Oh my god, it's going so fast, I feel like. No, it's not at all. <laughs> Trust me. It is not going fast at all. That right there, that thing is going slow as a turtle. Oh, just let it hover. Just let it hover, yeah. And then press what? Oh, to land it, you would push this and you'd slide that like that. But I think Nick wanted to try it too. Yeah, dude. Hold on. It's definitely fun, right? I feel like you get the hang of it quick, but at first... It's you do. Like, you gotta know which buttons to use. It won't let you get any closer to us because it has... Uh...